Hi, Bruce Edgerly here, co-founder and vice president of Backcountry Access. Going to go over a few things about auto revert mode. Auto revert mode is something that we use occasionally um, just in case somebody gets caught in an avalanche while they're in search mode. If they're searching, well, if they get caught and buried, that means they're not transmitting when somebody comes to try to find them. So what auto revert does is depending on the model that you have, it'll either revert back to transmit mode after five minutes of searching, or it will revert back if there's no motion for a minute while you're in search mode. Tracker DTS and Tracker 2 both have a five minute timer on them. Tracker 3 has a five minute timer and it has a motion sensor. That means that if you're in search mode, you get buried, and you don't move for 30 seconds, it's going to give you an alarm. If you don't interact with any of the buttons for the next 30 seconds, it's going back to transmit mode. One added benefit of the Tracker 3 auto, re auto revert system is that you have both systems. You have your motion sensing version, so you get an earlier revert back to transmit, so you don't have to wait for five minutes but also you have that hard return at five minutes. That way, if you get buried in search mode, and after you get buried, you're, you're fighting for an air pocket and it's sensing that motion, well, okay, it won't trigger the motion sensor, but at least after five minutes, it'll go back to transmit mode no matter what. It's really important to know that if you want to activate auto revert mode, you have to do that every time you turn the unit on. The way you do that is you press the options button on any of your trackers when you turn it on. And then you'll see when it goes through the diagnostics, including the battery power, it'll flash AR at the end. At that point, lift your thumb up the, off the options button, and now you're in auto revert mode. Why do we do that? That's because people that are new to their transceivers and aren't aware of this feature sometimes can disrupt a search or an avalanche course. So if you know enough to activate auto revert when you turn on your transceiver, you'll know what's going on when you hear that alarm sound. And you won't disrupt the search because you'll know that, okay, I need to press my uh, search button again to stay in search. So auto revert mode is a, a fairly unknown feature. It's got a lot of value for search and rescue teams and for situations where there could be some uh, lingering avalanche hazard. Uh, generally, secondary avalanches during transceiver searches are rare, but when they do happen, it's great to have that auto revert mode feature. To learn more about auto revert and other advanced functions on our trackers, read our owner's manual. Uh, you can get that. We have a print version that comes with your tracker or go online and it's right there in our resources section, tracker resources.